Supplementary, Jenny Minto, who is joining us remotely. Thank you, Presiding Officer. A combination of adverse weather and a rise in COVID cases amongst crew and shore staff have had a severe impact on service provision in recent weeks and days. What difference will the changes to the isolation rules make and what more can be done to encourage compliance by passengers with re relevant protective measures? Minister. President Officer, the um, Transport Scotland continues to engage daily with CalMac on the impacts to services and to monitor this as we move forward. The reduced isolation period uh, does already appear to be providing some relief to the pressures being faced, although, of course, there always remains the risk of disruption due to further infections of crew and staff. And let me place on record my appreciation of the work of the crew and staff throughout the pandemic, both on the, on, on the West Coast and uh, in the Northern Isles. Um, as the restrictions are eased, the emphasis will continue to be on personal responsibility, good practice and informed judgment. And I would encourage everyone using our ferries to ask themselves if the journeys they are considering on ferry routes are necessary at this time in order that we best protect services and ensure space remains available, particularly for our island communities. 